Charleston, Mississippi, has got to get over the racism. There's some hard-headed people in this town. I'm not just saying whites or blacks. I'm saying a little bit of both. My first reaction to her was like, she's white. My parents gonna freak out. I can't get a job in some places in town because I have black friends. Why are you still going back to this same attitude that you had 50 years ago? I guess you'd consider me a redneck. I don't change for nobody. These are shackles. These are still chains we have around our souls. One of the things that surprised me most was the fact that they have separate problems. One white, one black. How stupid can that be? The white parents wanted us to go to the white prom this year. Why act like that? I mean, they were our, our prom. So I have this proposal. You don't want to have a prom instead of two or three? I'll pay for it. Deal? What's our limit? What's your limit? $200. <laughs> There's a chance for you to make a change. Why not take it? Our town is changing a little part of the world right now. Why would you want to have a prom separate? They stupid. I don't see what everybody's problem is. It's supposed to be equal. I think we might have a little problem. As far as I'm concerned, they can, they can kiss my ass. I just learned to love people for who they are and not for the color of their skin. If it's left up to the kids, that's going to be fine. Thank you.